Oh, look at this one here in Boulogne-sur-Mer. It's always the roundabouts, you know? There are probably 13 trees. How many are there? Five, ten. Oh, never mind. Whoa, man. I can't get any closer because it's dripping like hell. Is that a real one? Whoa, the capstone. The obelisk, symbol of the pharaonic domination. Oh, this is magnificent. Well, you know, what more to say? Uh, I don't want my camera to get all wet, you know, so... Yeah, from the other side in Boulogne-sur-Mer. Bad weather. Freemasons. There's the sea. This is the pharaonic sun bark. Now, oh. they have some pyramids here. Oh, the weather is real bad. Another one in uh, Boulogne. So this is the old city. The rest was bombed in the war in 1944 because the Allies, by the Allies, because they thought that the uh, the Jerry's were here. Look, the two sphinx sphinxes in front. Pharaonic shit. Sunbark. It lives. The European have become the pharaohs through the uh, the first ride of the Prime Noctus. It's demo right now. Very bad weather. It's hot. Old palm trees here. Like in Egypt, very bad weather, not good for my camera, never mind, batteries empty, oh, there's the old town, there's the sun bark, pharaoh, it's all pharaonic, they rule the world, it's everywhere. Oh, Boulogne is full of it. Look at it. Full of it. Got the pharaohs all over. Look at the, the wood. Look at the wood. It's a real boat. Maybe it's an original one. On September the 26th, 1976, the coffin of their ancestor, the Pharaoh Ramses the Great, or Ramses the Second, was flown to France where his pharaonic descendants have total control and landed at Le Bourget airport in Paris, also called Parisi or Per Isis, meaning the House of Isis, and got full military honors by the presidential Republican Guard all lined up to welcome the 3,000 years old mummified remains of their famous pharaonic ancestor of the Per A Big House Royal Bloodline. And even President Valéry Giscard d'Estaing was there, himself a full-blooded aristocrat in line with the French King Louis XV and descendant from both par parental sides of further dukes and counts. So this is in Wikipedia. I told you so.
the pharaohs became the European aristocracy or old feudal world order and spread their pharaonic DNA through raping the European women through the prime noctus, first right or droit du seigneur. Or does anyone seriously think that these homegrown pharaohs of their new world order just deploy the highest form of presidential and military honors to some 3,000 years old dried out body of some pre prehistoric desert ruler from some faraway Middle Eastern desert hills. I mean, who of us understands why they have to receive a pile of flesh and bones mummy by the president and his presidential guard? Well, no one, right? And the mummy can't hear nor see anymore. So the whole show was not for us, as no one understands it. So they're hiding something from us, what we don't know. This was a pharaoh show for insiders and initiates only, saluting their direct ancestor of our masters, the enemy within, of the pharaohistocracy on all key positions. And if they pay the highest tribute to a pharaoh mummy, equally to some presidential visit, then all presidents must be pharaohs, just as every US president is a direct descendant of some faraway English king of the worldwide per a pharistocracy. They only honour their own, and we are their slaves, and a load of nobodies to them, who believe every damn official lie, 9-11 scam or false flag psyop being told. Now it stopped raining for a moment, so I'll do it again. I just went to the uh, tribunal to leave a uh, laissez uh, in French, laissez une plainte entre les mains du procureur. Yeah, well, it's behind here, against Switzerland, behind here in the. Uh, so, yeah, so that's my gear. They didn't want to let me in, enter with all my gear. No, so they made a fuss, you know, I said, I'm, I'm not going to leave my gear, you know, with all that total control shit, you know. So there's another pyramid. And here's a big pyramid here, with some sphinx in front. Here it says, it's the uh, solar ship. Here it says in French, and here in English, the solar ship of Cheops. They rebuild it. I told you, the French are quite uh, an industrious people. You know? Don't underestimate them. Pharaohs are here, right? And due to the uh, prime noctus or the first right, there's uh, most of the Europeans that have the uh, the pharaonic genetics or DNA. That's how I'd, how the aristocracy did it, and they were the pharaohs. Boulogne-sur-Mer. Sphinx, the other Sphinx.
fantastic when it doesn't rain for a minute here. So I do it a little bit again, it's not raining at the moment. The obelisk here. It's quite windy. Symbol of the pharaonic domination, they're still here. They never left us. And uh, it's them who became the aristocracy and everything belonged to them. Even our women in the first ride, the Prime Noctus. They took uh, our women in the first night of the marriage and shagged them, so this, this is how they... Uh, all the pharaonic Europeans have so much pharaonic DNA, we found out now, so this is how they did it. And that's why this is a phallic symbol. And on top, it's like uh, cut here, and it's a symbol of the, um, of the circumcision, as it is carved on top here. There's an original obelisk here in Boulogne sur Mer. So it's the pharaohs who became the aristocracy, and I call them the pharisocracy. And they became the Freemasons because they were afraid of us. We have guns now, we have. Um, only we don't understand very much. And then all those revolutions came, so they decided to hide in Freemason lodges. So I do the tour now. This is an important one, it's really a horrible one actually, I can say. So, don't run me over please. So it's not raining for the moment, you can see there's a lot of uh, palm trees here. So from the other side here. The symbol of the pharaonic domination course made by the uh, by the Freemasons their descendants the whole aristocrats uh, one more time from this side here mm. no 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 nice living here eh? <laughs> I wonder if those European women who were victim of the first right, if they really were raped or if they sort of enjoyed being with a clean, smiling and gallant prince, having some wine and a good meal. And if you look at how more than 50% of the European marriages end up in a divorce, we might very well ask ourselves if the dissatisfaction among European couples has a lot longer tradition than that. European women, as in the Eve syndrome, most probably are having a long-standing bond with the fair aristocracy ruling over their own man through the Horus Matrix. As you can see them sitting in all offices today, regulating society. Anyway, this is how the pharaonic DNA came infested into the European peoples. Therefore, the Prime Noctus or First Rite was less a rape than a convenient grasp for power, thus becoming the sisters of Isis for the Pharaonic princes. That's why all those women waving flags when Prince William passes by and that's why there's no other country in the world as Switzerland with the highest percentage of pharaonic DNA in the overall population. And it was thus through the Prime Noctus with some of the more willing European women that the lower nobility like the dukes, earls, counts and barons were created 
out of the purely pharaonic per a high nobility of kings, queens and princes. And it's all a matter of blood, anyway, who has the highest degree of uh, pure pharaonic per a DNA uh, blood on which the whole hi hierarchy is being built upon. The most powerful, they have the, uh, the, the most uh, concentrated uh, bloodline of the pharaohs. Just as the cops and police are from the same line of medieval knights with a lesser degree of pharaonic DNA, leading to the expression a line of duty. And this is why the police often appears as a different species with whom it is difficult to communicate on the same level, who should kill and arrest us or deliver us to the Nazis or the Gestapo with whom the entire European police collaborated. One really must have some other genetics to do so. Even on the bus is a bloody obelisk here, in Calais.